Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, the Rota Paitska International Nail Artisan Educator here. And today we are going to do those beautiful and bright summer nails. You can have a look in here. Yes, I will explain to you step by step how to recreate this look so you will be able to provide that to your clients as well. Let's start. That's the bright designs which you are going to do it for the summer. Very popular, but something unusual because I'm going to use the stamping <laughs> this time. Uh, you guys asked me about it as well. And normally I freehand the stuff just because I don't know, I find it quick. And yeah, but we'll do some stamping. <laughs> Uh, I will be using the upvoted uh, gel polish and this is my favorite color like I wear on my nails a lot it's 150 sweet side yeah sweet side that's a good name for it actually I need to remember it sweet side and uh, yeah it looks awesome on the nails like I just love this color so much so I'm just going to paint the entire nail like this and so those, the other tips, we will do two different styles of this design. Also, thank you so much to all the new members which have joined and the memberships. I really appreciate your support. If there is anything you would like to see on this channel, like just write down in the comments below and I will be very happy to produce these tutorials for you. So that's the second layer coming on. And so does on the other tip. I'm also thinking of other different designs you guys might like to see. I'm actually missing my nails this color. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of those greens and blues. Uh, again, very unusual for me, but I thought just like during the lockdown, it was a time like no one see my hands, so I can do just whatever. <laughs> okay, so that's the second layer applied, and now I'm going to apply the top coat. So I'm just applying the layer of the top coat, and this is, oh gosh, I'm messy. And this is an important steps for this design, so you cannot do it on the wet surface. Surface, it has to be buffed. So a layer of the clear, and then layer on the clear. And it's funny because um, in general, like stampings looks so easy to do it. Um, it took me a wee while actually to work it out. Uh, that was years ago. I've been actually quite a few asking me as well how long I have been doing the nails. So I started my career in 2005, but I wasn't doing it professionally. It was just a month before I came to Scotland. And then um, I was working in different places, like a kitchen porter and stuff like that, having no English. And start doing nails like for every day professionally when we open up the salon in 2009. Um, and I would say since 2012-ish, that was the time when I started feeling confident with the nails. So only for the last eight years. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm buffing the tip. And we do need to buff it because we are going to work with the pigments. And we want the pigments to stick in only to the white, which we are going to paint. We don't want the pigments to stick into the rest of the tip. Okay, and for that I'm going to use the Paint on French gel again. Sorry, I use it for everything. <laughs> Like totally for everything. That's probably the only product I could um, not live without of. 
and this one let's do maybe a shape in a triangle You could use a striping tape for it as well. That would be pretty good. And much quicker like to do the straight lines. And the shape has to be like pretty decent enough so you can squeeze in the pigment and also you can squeeze in the design as well. Okay, so on this one we've got the triangle and once I'm happy I'm going to give it a cure. And then on this new we can go more maybe on the side. Actually, the geometric kind of styles are really popular all the time. So I'm just buffing this tip. You cannot do it at quick on the holder, on the tip holder. But yeah, I'm actually quite um, interested then how long you have been all doing the nails uh, for just so I it will be also easier for me to prepare the tutorials if I will know how long you have been doing nails for so this way I would be able to kind of see what most of you um, would like to see like what level of the designs as well like sometimes I feel I'm, I'm doing something too easy and sometimes I'm feeling like I'm doing maybe something too hard. So uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below how long you have been doing nails for, how experienced you feel. Because sometimes we can do we can do something for a very short period of the time and we might be really confident and feeling strong about it. And sometimes we can take ages to, to kind of feel good at what we do. Like I, I did took uh, quite a few years. My first one strokes have been disaster. Like honestly, guys, like it, it's so funny because each time when I say it to someone, like that's my one stroke was so ugly. Everyone is like saying, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you just say it like this. But honestly, it is. And then if I do, when I show them a picture, uh, they do really laugh because it was ugly. <laughs> or same the structure, my first structure as well. Actually, might be a good tutorial on show you like on some before and an after, and I'm do really working like on those Q and I tutorials as well. I quite like this ship, so pop it into the lamp, and then our next step, extremely popular this summer. Like, and I, I honestly, I just can't wait like when I can start using it on the clients as well because I will be doing lots of um, this style of designs using the pigments so basically you could uh, do this design um, with the gel polish but I just find that the pigments are absolutely awesome for it and and they work fantastic for this style I'm just going to open them all up they're so nice and bright I will give you the link of, in the description of this video to the pigments but keep in mind like usually the links works only for some period of time because that's just uh, on listings on eBay so depends how much stock they've got or how much like or if the seller is still selling this product I quite like to search for a different bargains and and bits and pieces and I got those awesome butterflies oh my goodness they're so beautiful I cannot wait like when the mm, when I will be able to do the set on that <gasps> got so oh yeah I got some idea doesn't matter <laughs> don't tell you now <laughs> but I'm going for some green on the top of this one 
so what I'm I've got just an old brush and I dip in in the green color on the side I have the wipe so I can remove the excess of the pigments and then the next one we're going for some yellow and here straight away for yellow clean my brush blend that colors in go into the orange Blend that in. And some pink. some purple with the purple you have to be very careful because it's very pigmented and if you apply too much of it it's just going to be everywhere so just a tiny drop and then go back to the pink so the purple is not as strongly visible Okay, after you have done that, just wipe away the color, wipe away and then apply the top coat. So the reason behind applying top coat is if we do the mistake with paint, if you do the mistake with the painting or anything like that, we can easily wipe it off. Now I had some pigment on my finger there we are and then pop it to the lamp so once they cure I can tidy up my pigments away from the table and I always put the wipe in there as well just because they um quite like like they really messy and they so highly pigmented that's that cosmetic pigment uh, that they just end up everywhere Pop it into the lamp and then close all your pigments, put them on the side. My tip is curing anyway. And I quite also like to use the, the wipe uh, when I'm doing the stamping as well. I didn't have much of the choice of the stamping because all of them are in the salon. Um, so the only one I find which would go with this type of the design is uh, this plate. So you can see it here. And actually for this tip, I have used those ones and I quite like it but the stars will look pretty nice as well so what I'm going to do is the side where I want to put what <laughs> okay I know so on this one I'm just going to give it a quick bath in a sound sometimes for a quickness I use the I just wipe off the inhibition layer and the stamping might work uh, just on it as well uh, so I don't necessarily buff the nails but here I wanted to buff it because there will be some parts which I want to clean so I've got my design here and my stamping I always put the wipe because it's can go kind of messy and I'm using the Moyu nail polish for the Oh my goodness, it's just a finger. <laughs> it's pretty sore still. Uh, I'm using the Moyo ones and quite often I use the Born Pretty ones as well. Like I find they're pretty good and they're really great price too. So 
So I'm just applying a little bit of the gel pol nail polish, stamping nail polish, and then quickly remove the excess and then pick up the design. So when picking up the design, there cannot be too much pressure. Mm, not sure which one I like. Okay, this way. So I have picked up the place I like and then I just press it and stamp it over. And I've got some places which are um, going outside. So what I'm doing is I'm using a tiny bit of the blue scrap, which is a nail dehydrator. But you could also use a nail polish remover. And I'm just going to clean that up. You could also clean it on the stamping plate, but I think um, on the stamper, but I think it wouldn't work as clean, like because you wouldn't manage to stamp it just on the triangle. So I find that this is the easiest way. So this way we have created those design with the wee stars. I'm going to wait for it to dry. In the meantime, I'm just going to clean my stamper. You could also use the lint drawer, like to clean the lint from the cloth to, to, to clean it, or a bit of the sailor tape. I am just usually don't like to have too many things. So I find that um, the blue scrap does the job as well. Okay, clean your plate and then we are going to do the same on this one. I also show you if this is a video where you're using the stamper for the first time, I show you what you don't do because otherwise you wouldn't be able to pick up the design. So the most important thing is when you've got the, when you apply the nail polish for the stamping, you have to do it very quick. So you quickly apply it on. So this has to be done very quick. And because you are doing this so very quick, you want to do this quick but you, and strong, but you cannot do it. Now it's too late, it wouldn't pick. You have to roll at it. You see, it was too late because the polish dry. Only the largest part that work uh, because the new polish didn't dry yet. But it is all about the move. So first of all, very quick. Uh, and then you pick up the design very quick as well. But if you go like this and press hard, you are not going to pick anything. See, everything comes off, so it kind of stays in. You have to go like this motion. So like very gentle, gentle pick. Quick, but gentle. Okay. And then once you have picked the design, you can wait as long as you want. You can take a new polish, you can color it, you can do anything you fancy and then you place it on. But the pick has to be very quick before the polish dries, okay? So now let's do it in a practice. And that was my biggest mistake. The biggest mistake was I was pressing too hard on the beginning when I start my journey with the stamping and I couldn't pick up the design. Okay, so very quick, very quick. And then once you picked it, You've got lots of time to play with it. Okay. And that's the design transfer. Again, I'm going to take the wipe, blue scrap. And I'm going to clean the stuff which is outside the triangle. They are some nail, uh, nails, uh, not nails, but the eyelash uh, brushes. They like a very micro, like micro, micro size ones for cleaning the lashes. And I think that's a fantastic stuff for cleaning on the nails as well, especially such as detail like this. You could also freehand this design like and do some leaves or do some other different stars but uh, as I said on the earlier you wanted all to see 
me stamping so there we are some stamping for you and then just apply the top coat all over the design put it to the lamp do the same on the other tip and I think they look cool like uh, especially the ones with those rounded bits and pieces and um, probably normally I would probably freehand it but I think stamping would be much quicker in this case because it's quite detailed design inside the lamp as well and actually you know what guys what else would work for this uh, rounded parts i think uh, if you would use something like a lid from the brush or maybe not a lid from the brush it would be a shame but you know what i mean like you've got some lid or something dip in, in the gel or a nail polish and then stamp it with it actually we could give it a try to see if it would work So I have dipped it in on the pink. Mm, no, not as nice, but that could be another technique actually. I like to discover the things. <laughs> so yeah, that could be pretty interesting. I'm going to investigate more on uh, how to do the design using like uh, stamping with the different tools. I think it would, it could be pretty nice too just got something there okay this one is finished this one is finished and the last one as well so i want to know how long you have been doing nails for let me know down in the comments below and that's the designs which we have created today very bright and colorful i hope you have enjoyed it thanks guys bye